Hello folks, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate Artifactory with Jenkins. If you wanted to know how to set up Artifactory, please watch my previous video. Okay, so what is the use case? If you look at this diagram, developer is going to commit the code into a version control system, okay, which would trigger a build in Jenkins. And then Jenkins would do regular build and you know uh, do the integration with code quality tools, security tools, and whatnot. Finally, it is going to upload the artifacts into Artifactory. So, how does Artifactory stores all the binaries? Uh, it actually uses the local file storage in order to store uh, the binaries, and then all the metadata such as uh, Artifactory name, creation date, all those information will be stored in the database. Um, if you are actually going with the default uh, setup, it comes with Apache DB database, but you can always, uh, you know, use any relational database such as MySQL, Oracle and whatnot, okay? And then once the artifacts got stored in the Artifactory, uh, Jenkins or any uh, continuous delivery tools can pick up uh, from Artifactory and then, you know, it can uh, deploy into whichever the environment you have. Uh, but in this particular video, we are going to learn uh, how to integrate the Artifactory with Jenkins. So that every time a developer pushes the code change, Jenkins says, uh, you know, uh, it would build the artifact and then it would upload the artifact into Artifactory. Okay. Awesome, guys. So let's get uh, started. I have already set up, uh, you know, both Artifactory and Jenkins uh, in my AWS cloud. And uh, this is the uh, Jenkins, uh, you know, uh, URL, and then this is the, uh, you know, uh, Artifactory. Okay. So um, I also have uh, documented steps in my website as well, coachdevops.com. So feel free to uh, go through it. I will also post the link under uh, my video as well. Awesome. So let's quickly go through it. So what is the prerequisite? You must install Artifactory plugin in order to uh, integrate, uh, you know, Jenkins and Artifactory. So let's go to Jenkins. Let's quickly go to manage Jenkins. So let me log in first. Uh, let's go to manage Jenkins, manage plugins. Go to available tab and search for Artifactory. Here we go. So this is the plugin you need to install. So let's install it without restart. So that is going to install, you know, the supporting uh, plugins as well okay once you install the plugin we need to configure artifactory under uh, manage jenkins configure system let's go there let's look for artifactory okay here it is click on add artifactory server so we have to provide uh, artifactory url along with the uh, credential so let's go ahead and uh, give some server ID and then what is the URL so this is the URL uh, let me copy that I'm gonna add that put HTTP colon slash slash and then 8081 slash artifactory okay and then go ahead and put in your uh, credential which is artifactory credential right admin admin one two three or whatever the credential you have and you can also validate that okay just to make sure that this is working let's say if you have a wrong credential uh, you know whenever you click on test connection button you know it is not going to work okay and same thing with the url as well okay so make sure you know you make use of this test connection button and then we already found so this is the version we have already set up over here awesome so that's it right so artifactory has been uh, configured successfully in Jenkins and then you know you can uh, go ahead and uh, create the job and you know you can start your build right but before that we also need to make sure Maven is also configured so let's quickly double check that go to Maven installation yeah here it is so you need to say what version of Maven you're going to use so we want to use Maven 3 and then this is fine so I'm going to save that Okay, so we have successfully configured uh, Maven as well as Artifactory. Let's go ahead and create a new job. So I'm going to create a freestyle job. Okay, so let's go ahead and create it. So 
So what we wanted to do, uh, we want to uh, check out the code, build the code and then upload the artifact into uh, Artifactory, right? All right, so this is my repository. I have already added the credential that should go through and uh, let's see. Okay, and then, you know, all you have to do is select Maven 3 Artifactory integration under build environment. So click that. Okay, so this is the Artifactory URL. Uh, before you uh, put in anything, let's quickly go ahead and say refresh repositories. Wow, awesome. So if you click on the drop down, so you should be able to see the repository what you have set up. Okay, so mine is the uh, normal web app. So I want to use probably this one. Okay, lips release local and then same thing, right? Uh, so for my snapshot repository, I want to use uh, this one. Okay, that's it. And then rest of the items you can leave it as it is and then under bill you're gonna add a, in, you know invoke artifactory maven 3 and so this is the maven 3 which we have already set up and uh, where is your palm.xml my palm.xml actually resides uh, under here okay and then what is the goal so you want to say clean install okay that's it okay let's quickly go ahead and apply this and save and of course, right, you can trigger the job however you want to do it, but I want to, you know, kickstart manually, but it's up to you. You can use webbooks or you can use Polysium, whatever you like. So right now, the job already ran. As you can see, it checked out the code, um, you know, and then it uh, Maven 3 started building code. And then, you know, it also, uh, you know, uploaded into Artifactory as well. Okay, if I go to Artifactory, if I go here, if I go under packages, builds, artifact, uh, and this is the repo where we try to upload, right? Wow, so if you see here, see, this was the artifact we tried to upload from Jenkins. Okay, so that's it, guys. Uh, you know, thank you for watching this video.